Hi Scorpio, it's Elle. I hope everybody is doing well. It's a beautiful day out. I wanna get back out in it, but I wanted to get a reading in, catch the sunlight coming in. Um, I had plans this weekend, but I ended up uh, not being able to follow, or not me, it wasn't me that couldn't follow through with them. But anyway, I'm spending some extra time on reading. So while the sun was let me just stop because messages are coming out. It's like money, cha-ching. There's a dealing, there was, there was a situation with a man. I'm getting channeled messages. So let me put them down. This has been crazy. Maybe it's because I took like such a long period of time off. As soon as I start talking or recording and picking up cards, it's like zoom, 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 message, 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 <laughs> message. All right. Anyway, I had plans no longer, right? So a bitch is doing a bitch this weekend and I am working on my spiritual development here. Okay, sharing the light with the torch and getting more readings out, guys. So uh, hopefully, come on spirit with some good energy for this reading, okay? Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio, sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your uh, white light of protection through the tarot. Archangel Michael, please block any negative energy being sent our way. Send it back into the universe and to nothingness. Amen. The most difficult part of a situation is over, Scorpio. If you'd like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. I am going to be available from basically today through Tuesday if for readings if you're interested in a reading. Um, these are free readings, so if you'd like to donate, donations are much appreciated. I am a single mother getting back to life after um, recovering from cancer. I'm very grateful. Um, but is that a little hummingbird? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I got distracted for a minute. I wanted to say hi. Um, if you would like to make a donation, these are free readings. I'm coming back, right? getting back into life after cancer. Um, and it has not been easy. So any donations are much appreciated. Many of you guys know I'm trying to build clientele and start cutting hair again and all that stuff. And it's just, you know, uh, mama's been on the struggle bus a little bit. So if you'd like to help out, that's appreciated. Now, um, I am gonna do something I saw another reader do basically. If you make a donation, whether it's 50 cents or a dollar, uh, I'm gonna put you know, write your name down for a week straight. Um, whoever donates within this next week, next Saturday, I will announce uh, the winner and you will receive a uh, free uh, personal reading, 15 minute reading. Okay, so watch out for next Friday or next Saturday reading in the morning or whenever I post it, I will announce the winner um, of the free 15 minute reading. Okay, so I like that idea. I think it's, you know, it gives you, you know, a little incentive like, hey, if I donate, I might get something too, right? Even if it's a dollar. So um, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? All right, Scorpio. So we've got something with the month of February. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. There could be an Aquarius energy that's significant. It doesn't have to be. It could just be the month of February, something happening or something could have happened in the month of February. But the most difficult part of a situation is now over with the rainbow. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes with the unicorn. And then don't back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude with the bull, right? So you could be dealing with some opposing energies with this coming out, either now or in the near future. That's weird to saying, don't back down. Do not allow somebody to bully you in a situation because this is what this feels like when this happens. This is bullying energy, Scorpio. Don't back down from that opposition. Whoever it is, whatever it is. Why it's showing up, I don't know. But when we get the messages, I get them and I got to give them. Somebody wants you to cower, back down, be, be bullied in some way, shape, or form. Don't take it. All right, time to be honest with yourself about a situation. Now this, you know, trust your intuition to make beneficial changes. It could be time to simply just be honest with yourself in regards to a situation, Scorpio, right? What other messages am I getting for Scorpio? Hmm. Somebody is not happy about a rejection energy, you or your person. And then we've got winning the lottery in love. And then their opinion has no effect 
on your future successes, excuse me. Their opinion has no effect on your future successes. Let's do signs that are associated with Scorpio for this reading. What energies do we have coming out for Scorpio in regards to this reading? Okay, again, Aquarius energy, Scorpio and Aquarius. Okay, you could be, there could be an Aquarius that could be significant in your life or your energy. Cancer and Scorpio energy. Sagittarius and Scorpio. We usually take three, but four came out. Aries and Scorpio. Okay, players on the table. We've got Aquarius, Aries, Cancer, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. Friends, family, whoever, coworkers. Okay, I don't know who these people are in your life, but it's coming out for a reason. Okay, it's going to have something to do with a situation, some kind of significance in a situation. All right, what other messages do we have in regards to this reading for Scorpio? The cockroach. Find a schedule that works for you. I wonder why that has the cockroach on here. They're weird. So, hmm. <laughs> Something about energy is coming out, right? So it's like, find a schedule that works for you. So it's like, why is a cockroach there? You could be lazy, like you're like doing something, you're wearing yourself uh, out, you're not getting enough rest. There's something about your schedule that's not working. Maybe you need to go to bed earlier, or some more structure in something, all right? Some things aren't getting done. Things could be messy, nasty, bugs. What? That's why we got the roaches there. I don't know. That's just what's coming out to me, okay? Uh, find a schedule that works for you. Like something's not working and somebody's, you know, worn out. Um, be true to yourself without seeking outside approval, okay? And then get involved with your community. So there is a level of needing to get involved in some kind of community energy, community network, okay? Be true to yourself without seeking outside approval. This could be within a relationship, friendships. Take it however it resonates, Scorpio, okay? Okay. What other messages do we have for Scorpio in regards to this reading? Messages. Spirit is sending you messages, okay? So pay attention. Nature, like the hummingbird. And I don't have my iPad on me, so I don't know what the hummingbird means. Put it in the comments. But again, spiritual messages, because it's probably one, right? Because it showed up in the middle of your reading. So this is Spirit giving you messages and guiding you in a situation. So pay attention. The number 20 is a the date, the 20th, could be significant. There could be something significant about the 20th. You could be receiving a message on the 20th, which is in, what, two days? So from a Libra, doesn't necessarily have to be Libra, but we've got Libra energy here. But this is also the energy of creating balance, okay? Needing to create balance, but... This message could be regards to, you know, energy and needing to create balance in your life in some way, shape, or form, Scorpio, okay? Um, what other messages do we have with the Oracle really quick? And we're going to hop into Tarot. Love real quick. Because we hadn't had a whole bunch of positive energy coming out yet for you guys. When I've been doing readings, we had some drama. It hadn't been all bad, right? We've got some interested parties, but some other shit going on for you too. Or we have curious energy. You or somebody else. 11 is Scorpio energy to me though sometimes. 11 and 13. But um, this also could be twin flame energy, but there's an energy of somebody being curious about you, curious about a situation, or this is you. All right, uh, go. Somebody from the past. This could be somebody that you ghosted from the past or uh, ghosted you. And then we've got, it's a mystery. Why? 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 <laughs> Maybe somebody wants to know why, right? That is the question when it happens, right? We all want to know why. Why the disconnect? Why couldn't you say something? Why? That's what I'm hearing. Why? Devil. Somebody was possibly struggling with something here. Some type of addiction. Toxic. Toxic connection. Um, and then I just saw the Nine of Cups. So there's definitely been a healing energy somewhere too. All right. What other messages do we have with the Angel Tarot? The Star card. Okay. 
a five of cups if you feel like depressed or upset or grieving okay we've got hope here okay with the star card this is prayers being answered in a situation if you've been reaching out to spirit with the seven of cups um there's contemplation here but there's options moving forward so you're going to have options thinking about some options to think about here okay reevaluate some things here maybe in regards to reevaluating energy um reevaluating people that you're dealing with reevaluating situations just reevaluating re it all right with the six of wands it's kind of to me saying like all right well like Somebody is really wanting success with the Nine of Pentacles, being financially financially stable, independent. Um, so if you've been depressed and you've been praying about it, you've got um, options here. You've been contemplating about maybe there's an option you've been contemplating about that, that, that there's, you know, that's the message you're going to get a message about on the 20th. All right, what messages do we have for love for scorpio before i end the reading i promise this is going to be quick this time because the sun is going down <laughs> i gotta get out but while it's still sunny soak it up because that's you know i mean not <sighs> let me focus it was one two three as soon as I, <laughs> I was saying that i'm getting sidetracked again y'all are like let's just talk about the love I got to get out in the sun sometimes, you know, just to feel better. It's been so rainy and gloomy here lately. All right. What other messages do we have for Scorpio in regards to love? What other messages do we have in regards to love for Scorpio? Could be dealing with a Virgo or a Virgo could be coming into your energy here or uh, this could be past energy. But this is also the energy, the magician, like manifesting, right? Um, what else? Uh, a situation here with the King of Cups. We've got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Masculine energy doesn't necessarily have to be a masculine, right? But uh, in, in regards to love, you're manifesting a situation here where there is an emotional connection. Um, and some <laughs> really good sex here with the Ace of Wands. So who doesn't want all of that? Yeah, this is... <laughs> The wheel of fortune so some of you if you've been in a cycle where it's like all right well the sex is good but the relationship is nowhere right or non-existent right but the sex is good or the relationship is non-existent but the sex is bad or you know that's my best friend but i don't want to fuck them anymore or whatever this is i don't know scorpio it's like the energy of a this is a change in partner a change in a cycle so there is change coming for love for some of you here showing up and this is something that you have manifested you have manifested some a good an emotional connection with bomb sex i love it scorpio can we just say yay okay <laughs> yay for you okay i love it with the ace of wands and the king of cups here tell me all about it in the comments when it happens please bitch okay <laughs> This is a new cycle, a new year, a new cycle. All right, what other messages do we have? Eight of Swords. Some of you got have gotten a message here. You didn't want to receive here. You've been really stuck in your head, okay? And this could be, again, because we had the Four of Cups, reevaluating evaluating a situation. It could have been rejection. It could have been somebody ghosting you because that came up, right? So there's the energy of being kind of stuck in your head about it. But this is divinely guided. It could be involving a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to. Temperance energy, though. This is divine protection, divine guidance. Um, what other messages do we have in regards to this reading for Scorpio? Ten of Wands. All right, Scorpio, you gain clarity on a situation that you feel like is over with the King of Swords, Ten of Wands, that's completion, Ten of Cups. Uh, and for some of you, it, it, with divine protection, there's a mother and a child here with a girl. It was for your safety. So if something ended abruptly or something ended here, it, a spirit is saying that there was something that ended because for safety for you and your child. Interesting. Pisces energy is significant for some reason. 
Somebody with a cat is significant for some reason, a gray cat. But the Ten of Cups um, is showing up here too. So it's like this ending is actually, it's a cycle ending, a new one that you've manifested. And this is long-term happiness. This is a situation, and if it's just what you consider long-term happiness, even if it's not um, a love situation with a, a romantic partner, I mean, this is a mother and daughter, that's love, right? Um, or a child, um, father and child, whatever, like whatever you feel like is your 10 of cups. This is focusing on, you've manifested this energy of your long-term happiness, this new chapter. This is awesome, Scorpio. Um yeah, some of you are coming out of this energy with a star card again, Aquarius energy again, a feeling like you felt hopeless, okay? Beautiful energy. What other messages do we have? Or you will be. Yeah, somebody, if you were in a situation where somebody was juggling you or something was off, um, you know, it just, you, it was creating a sense of overall like hopelessness and you really stayed strong through it though and actually manifested new which is beautiful scorpio um page of wands there's a message again high priestess a message so trust your intuition on the 20th or something about the number 20 or something here there's message you're going to be receiving a message in regards to this direction that you're moving and it's almost like spirit saying hey i just wanted you to know you're going the right way. Keep going. Keep going, right? Um, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? <sighs> Don't let your emotions get the best of you in a situation coming up. Scorpio with the Two of Swords. There's something you don't have all the knowledge that you need in regards to. Maybe that's why you haven't made a decision, but you're going to need to make a decision with this coming out. And this could also be what the message is in regards to and needing to trust your intuition. All right, with the Sun card though, I feel like overall great energy. You're going to be very happy. <laughs> You've got a very satisfying connection coming your way. It looks like uh, it could be dealing with a Leo. It doesn't necessarily have to be. We got the uh, Sun card and then the Ace of Cups right underneath that um which is the strongest vibration a strong positive card vibrationally strong po represents positivity love um and in a new relationship so again this is new okay moving into a new relationship uh it looks like you're you have manifested something that will truly make you happy long term scorpio all right pisces cancer scorpio energy with the ace of cups too all right knight of wands Somebody's going to be taking some bold action here towards you, I feel like. Yeah, because the, uh, what the hell was that? The Prime truck, just like Amazon Prime, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Somebody is going to take bold action, like rolling up on you. I was about to say contacting you, but they might just show up somewhere where you're at. This person's got it for you. This is somebody who you already know or knows of you. All right, with the Wheel of Fortune, this change. All right, Scorpio. I love you guys. I promise this was going to be a quick one. I got to go. Um, I hope this was helpful. Lots of love and light. Again, if you'd like a personal, that information's in the description box below. Bye.